Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Sunday, September the 3rd. It's the 13th Sunday after Pentecost and week two in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 148 and 149. And 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 22 to 30. And a canticle from Philippians chapter 2, verse 6 through 11. And now please join me in singing the first verse of I Sing the Almighty Power of God. I sing the mighty power of God that made the mountains rise, that spread the flowing seas abroad and built the lofty skies. I sing the wisdom that had ordained the sun to rule the day. The moon shines full at his command, and all the stars obey. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, praise God from the heavens, praise God in the heights. Hallelujah, Psalms 148 and 149, and please recite them with me. Hallelujah, praise God from the heavens, praise God in the heights, praise God all angels, praise God all hosts, praise God sun and moon, praise God all stars of light, praise God heavens of heavens, and the waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Most High, for God commanded and they were created. God also established them forever, and God has made a decree which shall not pass. Praise God from the earth, dragons and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and cloud, stormy wind fulfilling God's word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl. Rulers of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old women and children. Let them praise the name of the Most High, for God's name alone is excellent. God's glory is above the earth and heaven. And God also raises the strength of the people, the praise of all the saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing to God a new song, and sing God's praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in God their Maker, and let the children of Zion be joyful in their Sovereign. Let them praise God's name in the dance, let them sing praises to God with the timbrel and the harp. For you take pleasure in your people, you beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. And let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people. To bind their rulers with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all God's saints. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Hallelujah. A reading from the first book of Kings, chapter 8, beginning at verse 22. And then Solomon stood before the altar of Yahweh in the presence of all the assembly of Israel. And he spread out his hands to heaven. And he said, O Yahweh, God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven above or on earth beneath, keeping covenant and steadfast love for your servants who walk before you with all their heart. The covenant that you kept for your servant, my father David, as you declared to him. You promised with your mouth 
and have this day fulfilled with your hand. Therefore, O Yahweh, God of Israel, keep for your servant, my father David, that which you promised him, saying, There shall never fail you a successor before me to sit on the throne of Israel. If only your children look to their way, to walk before me as you have walked before me. And therefore, O God of Israel, let your word be confirmed, which you promised to your servant, my father, in David. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Even heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, much less this house that I have built. Regard your servant's prayer and his plea, O Yahweh my God, heeding the cry and prayer that your servant prays to you today, that your eyes may be open night and day toward this house, the place of which you said, My name shall be there, that you may heed the prayer that your servant prays toward this place. Hear the plea of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray towards this place. O oh, here in heaven, your dwelling place, heed and forgive. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, praise to our Savior Jesus Christ, who being in the form of God, did not deem equality with God, but emptied himself and took the form of a servant and was made in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ reigns supreme to the glory of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah.